subject part. The part of the sentence which tells us about the names of persons or things is called the subject part. What is there in the subject part? Here we have nouns, pronouns and adjectives. What is the predicate part then? The part of the sentence which gives information about the subject is called the predicate part. In this part, we have verbs, objects, complements, etc. Today, we are going to study how to identify the subject and the predicate part in the exclamatory sentences. You know, what are the exclamatory sentences? The sentences which express strong feelings are called the exclamatory sentences. These sentences end with exclamation mark. This is the exclamation mark. Okay. Now how to identify the subject and predicate in these sentences then? Like declarative sentences, these sentences do not begin with the subject. Then what to do? We have a very simple way to identify the subject in these sentences. Means in the exclamatory sentences. Then what to do for this? We just have to convert these sentences into declarative sentences. Okay, here I have written some sentences. See the first sentence now. How beautiful is the garden? The sentence ends with exclamation mark. Okay, we have to convert this sentence into declarative sentence. Let us do this here. I have written. The garden is very beautiful. Or you can say the garden is beautiful. If there is. How? In the sentence means if the exclamatory sentence begins with how. Generally, we make use of very while converting it into simple sentence or into statement. So the sentence is the garden is beautiful or the garden is very beautiful. Now you can easily identify the subject in this sentence. The garden is the subject and is beautiful is the predicate. Now it is very easy for us to identify the subject in this exclamatory sentence. How beautiful is the garden? What is the subject here? Of course the garden. The garden is the subject part and how beautiful is the predicate part. I have written here. Subject part and predicate part. Okay. Now see the second sentence. What a nice picture it is. The conversion of the sentence is. It is a very nice picture. Or you can say it is a nice picture. If an exclamatory sentence begins with what? Generally, we make use of a very. If it begins with how, it is very. And if it begins with what, it is a very. Make use of a very there. I have kept this very in bracket. Okay. So, if you want, you can make use of it. And if you don't want, don't use. See here. It is a nice picture. So, in this sentence, you can easily understand that it is the subject. And so, it is the subject part and is a nice picture is the predicate part. See here, I have written here, it is the subject part, is predicate part. In the same way, what a nice picture is also the predicate part. Find it. See the third sentence now. How careless she is. The conversion of the sentence is she is careless. Or you can say she is very careless. What is the subject in this sentence? She is the subject. Okay. And the remaining part is is careless. And this is the predicate part. So you can say that she is the 
such a part. And how careless and is is the predicate part. Here I have written is predicate part and how careless predicate part. Find it. See here. The fourth sentence is here shines the star. Okay. So how will be the conversion of the sentence? The star shines here. Can you identify the subject in this sentence? Yes, you can easily do it. The star is the subject and the remaining part is shines here. This is the predicate. So, in the sentence, here shines the star. The star is the subject part and here shines is the predicate part. See the next sentence. May you win the trophy. What is the sentence? May you win the trophy and finally exclamation mark. The conversion of the sentence is you may win the trophy. What is the subject in this sentence? Yes, you are right. It is you and you is the subject and may win the trophy is the predicate part. So you can say that may is the predicate part. Win the trophy is the predicate part and what is the subject part? Here it is the subject part. Okay? Okay. Then next one is what an intelligent boy he is. So what is the conversion of the sentence? He is an intelligent boy or you can say he is a very intelligent boy. Can you identify the subject? Yes, you are right. He is the subject. And so you can say that he is the subject part and what an intelligent boy is the predicate part as well as is is the predicate part. You can see that in each of the sentences, predicate part contains verb. So in this way, we have studied how to identify the subject and the predicate in the declarative sentences, imperative sentences, interrogative sentences and exclamatory sentences. Please go to the description box. There I have given some sentences, some examples are given. Convert the sentences into statements and try to identify the subject part and the predicate part in them. Thank you.